the topic is uh, stress testing, which test and for which patient. The goals of this lecture going to be to review indications and contraindications for stress testing, review common modalities of stress evaluation of our patients in primary care setting and understand the concern around unnecessary testing and highlight the specific patient populations we commonly encounter such as symptomatic patients, asymptomatic patient with risk factors, pre-op evaluation for non-cardiac surgery and patients with uh, diabetes mellitus and of course, we will sum up. So, we may not have all the answers for the questions I have posed. So, usually the stress testing not indicated in all our patients with a low cardiovascular disease and those without symptoms. So, stress is best utilized for our patients with the intermediate probability of cardiovascular disease based on symptoms. The intermediate probability may be a male gender, elderly age, patient with diabetes and dyslipidemia, may be smokers and hypertensives also I will include here where independent predictors. Make sure that the medical management is optimized that it is likely to be more effective than stress testing in improving patients outcome. The stress testing mainly done to decide about the need for a coronary angiogram or a revascularization. Continue to fight the good and the good fight against the therapeutic inertia. Pre-operative stress testing almost never indicated in all our patient who have basically good functional capacity of 4 meds and more. When evaluating surgical patients use validated guidelines and of course, be consistent about using it trust the one that you use. We usually trust RCRI and we always use that for a preoperative evaluation. So, it is all about practicing good medicine. So, our dilemma in the clinical dilemma in primary care is that on daily basis how to evaluate a cardiovascular disease. Sometimes we get a preoperative patients, sometimes patient will come with chest pain, the patient may be asymptomatic, the ECG may be abnormal and the patient wants to know whether they have a future risk of cardiovascular disease and diabetic maintenance patients especially in India and diabetic patients how to do cardiovascular screening or cardiovascular risk estimation for a patient with diabetes mellitus and so on. So, it has been estimated for the next 30 years the number of procedures in Medicare patients is expected to double and 6 to 12 million annually. So, that means uh, the prediction is that uh, the investigation are going to be increased tremendously in future uh, days.